Uh, you know what, Paul? It's unbelievable. We're talking about the end of October, and we're still seeing temperatures like this. Yes, and what it means is it's extended the planting season because yes. soil temperatures are still warm, very warm yeah. for this time of year. So you're going to get good root development. Today I was going to talk about ground covers, and I can't imagine talking about ground covers this late in the season, but why not? Because yeah. it's a great time. So people have been planting a lot of fescue and rye and things like that. But as you well know, trying to get grass to grow beneath a shade tree is really a challenge. Very hard, yes it is. So what I suggest is that people just quit trying okay. and instead move toward ground covers. And I've okay. got several to look at. All right, what's the first one we have here? Well, that one is, I, I love trying to hear people pronounce that one. Uh, it's liriope, but it comes in as liriope or liriope, whatever. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful ground cover, av available in solid green, variegated forms. It's really beautiful. You've planted this before. Yes, this is actually in my backyard, and when I've wanted to try to move it somewhere else, the next year it comes right back. So if you put that somewhere, it's going to be staying there. That's true, but that's also basically the definition of a ground cover. Oh, nice. It's something that you want to fill a space, Okay. and that's what all these do. <laughs> so the liriopes are dynamite, and they will flower, by the way. They're, they have that grassy-like foliage. I just love them. Now, related to them are okay. the mondo grasses. Oh. And there's a, a very tiny dwarf Mondo, the regular Mondo, and then this is one of my favorites. This is black Mondo. It grows very slowly, but beautiful when contrasted up against golden oh, yeah. foliage like that. I mean, it's just spectacular. Yeah, and again, I'm just sitting there looking at that one that you have, $2.49. You can easily put this ground cover out relatively cheap. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, the Lizamachias, or at least have several names, Creeping Jenny, Money Wart, they will really take off. Okay? okay, and they really, in almost any soil, but in the moist soil, they will really, really, not to the point of being aggressive, really, and they're easy to keep in check, mm -hmm. but they will really take off. Um, Vinca Major, two very popular ground covers. They stay low to the ground, but as you can see, they run. They do run. Yeah. Now, you can keep them in check, just prune them back, okay. or you can let them run again. It's a ground cover. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> and that's what you want. I mean, you want it to actually cover a large area of space. You just plant it and let it go. You know, a lot of times the word invasive is considered a bad thing in the gardening world, and oftentimes it is. But if, again, if you're trying to fill a space, then invasive is a good thing. And all these will, you know, cover ground beneath shrubs, um, in a flower bed, you can use these in so many different ways. The nice thing about it is the, the root depth is pretty limited with it. It doesn't go down very far, so if you want to pull it out of a few spots, it's pretty easy to do. Easy to do. Yeah. Uh, three more real quick. Here's Plumbago. This was actually a 2005 Oklahoma Proven Winter. It's it, winter. It's a very popular, it has beautiful purplish blue flowers. Yeah, it is nice. Uh, it's a really nice ground cover. English Ivy has been around forever and ever. You know, it graces the the halls of Ivy League schools all, you know, um, does great in this area, absolutely loves it. Um, and then Pacasandra. This one has been around a long time, and uh, I love it. It'll get a little taller than some of these others, but an outstanding ground cover. So as we're wrapping things up, if we want to do some ground cover and we always think about fescue, it's time to plant these. Great alternative to grass. Excellent, Paul, as always. And if you want more information on this or any of the other topics that we've covered on our In the Garden segments, you can always go online, kjrh.com. Go Cubs. Will, back to you. <laughs> All right, thank you, Tab. <laughs>